the greatest background to ever exist. And we're saying goodbye to it. Because I'm moving. Gas. We'll never see the group poster again. Maybe that's a good thing. But seriously, we're going to be talking about Elder Scrolls, the best game of all time. Starting right now. For anybody who was living under a rock yesterday, Bethesda walked out on the E3 stage and they just said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to announce every single game everybody's ever wanted uh, from Bethesda. So that's, that's legit the logic behind all that. Uh, every game was announced. So some starting big news, obviously, was uh, Fallout 76. We got a new trailer. We got news about what the game would be like. It is a going. It's going to be a solo slash multiplayer game. It's optional to play either one according to what they said, and it's going to be set in obviously West Virginia, and it's going to be four times the size of Fallout Four, like the map. And what you can do is you can roam the wasteland. You can build anywhere. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of like. Uh, the game that we were thinking was going to happen, but uh, I highly recommend you guys to watch the E3 uh, conference. This is going to be a pretty ambitious Fallout title from the looks of it. It's not going to be the Battle Royale type trash people are uh, memeing about, but uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, there is quests, there will be cities, I believe, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, nevertheless, so, very hyped to see how this goes. Also, apparently there's nuclear facilities on the map, and you can bomb anywhere on the map. I don't know how that'll play into effect. There's also a lot of new mobs, so, who knows? It'll be interesting, to say the least, like I said. Very hyped for Fallout 76. I'm going to get it, and it has a November release date. I believe it was November 14th, so I'm very hyped for this game. They're also going to be doing a beta, uh, so if you guys want to join the beta, I highly recommend you get a Bethesda account and sign up pretty quickly. Uh, I didn't sign up just because I don't really want to beta test the game too much. I mean, I could, but I don't know. I just, I'm not into that life. Overall, very hyped for Fallout 76, and I am overjoyed that this game will be coming out this year. So, after releasing that, uh, Todd Howard, literally right off the bat, boom, Elder Scrolls game, right off the bat. This is uh, Elder Scrolls Blade, a brand new game for mobile devices. This will be a full open world experience where you can play as the Blades, which the Blades, if you don't know the lore behind them, are the Emperor's uh, guards, in a sense. If you've played Oblivion, you know what I'm talking about. The Blades of the Sacred Order. Uh, that protect the Emperor and the Empire uh, in the Imperial City. And obviously, if you've played Oblivion, the intro, sadly the Emperor dies, but oh well. Oh, who cares? Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm very hyped for Elder Scrolls Blades. It's going to be free. Don't know how that'll work. Maybe there's going to be customizationable options you can purchase because from the trailer, it doesn't seem to have anything else that you'd be buying, so. <laughs> yawn, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Again, very hyped for Elder Scrolls Blades. This seems to be a full RPG where you can customize build. You can build a city in this uh, as well. On mobile devices, the graphics are better, if not equal to Skyrim. And I don't know, I just got a lot of high hopes for this game. Uh, Elder Scrolls Blades coming out from what I believe they said was this year as well. Uh, and you can sign up for early access uh, for this game, or you can pre-order it right now on Google Play Store. So, I've already pre-ordered, so, yay. And then, we get another game, the big game, Starfield, the game that everybody's been talking about. If you don't know about this game, 
It was a brand new standalone title from Bethesda, set in space. It's going to be an open world RPG as well. Starfield. I really love the logo as well. We've never seen this logo, so seeing this was really cool, uh, and how it opened up when we watched the trailer for this game. It was a very small teaser. I think it's still a very early development game, uh, but no, nonetheless, again, I'm very hyped for Starfield. Uh, a brand new title for Bethesda. The first one they said uh, that they made in 25 years. That's crazy. But, again, very hyped for Starfield. Don't know what the story will be. I don't think anybody does. But, again, very hyped for it. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. And, who knows, maybe it'll be pretty good. But for me and, and many others, the crowning moment of the night was The Elder Scrolls VI. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Elder Scrolls fan. Uh, I've played every single game, uh, beaten every single game. Uh, very proud about that because Arena was not fun to beat. Uh, but I beat it. Hey, there you go. Uh, and I've beat every game. This is a great series. I've always loved playing them. And, you know, when we got Elder Scrolls 6 uh, teased at the end, I was really hyped. It's obviously a small teaser. A lot of people pointed that out. Uh, but they just said they just started this game, so... Based off of how much they already got done from the map layout, uh, I would think that the game would come out next year or the year after that. Probably next year, because what it seems to be like they're... It seems to be like they're working on this one uh, quite a bit by how much they already have done uh, already in pre-production, so... I don't know how long it'll take to make it again... I'd rather not rush them. I'd rather see a great game than a bad game. So, very hyped for Elder Scrolls 6. Uh, let's talk about where I think it'll be located. I think the number one place that is highly likely for it to be located is High Rock. Based off of the very short teaser we got, Addy 3 for Elder Scrolls 6, it started off with fog, something that High Rock is very well known for. Uh, and then that phased through where you could see a small little ruin on a cliff. This is very significant because if you know anything about the High Rock lore, uh, it's about it's about a lot of aristocrats apparently. Uh, well, essentially that live in High Rock. There's a very big class divide, uh, and there's a lot of rich people who just like to build castles all over the place. So it is very good that we have a castle on a big hill to kind of show that hey, this is a High Rock game because we saw a lot of castles in this trailer. And they're all ruins, which is likely uh, because a lot of the richer people in High Rock are so rich that they don't need the castles. Sounds a little bit uh, strange, but this actually, it's actually in the lore. Uh, they do abandon the castles. Uh, there's so many castles in High Rock that it's not even funny. So it will be interesting to see a High Rock game as well in the trailer, we have a large uh, body of water, uh, which is very calm, which is not uh, usually what you'd see in an ocean. So, I don't know, I'm guessing that it might be this little uh, little canal bay thing that we have uh, from... Uh, I've never been able to pronounce it correctly, but uh, Illich Bay, I, I can't pronounce it again. Uh, but that's what it's called, the little bay between High Rock and Hammerfell. Which it could be Hammerfell. The game could be Hammerfell as well. Uh, they're both located in similar areas. But I think it's going to be in High Rock. Tell me your opinions below. Overall, I just really want to say how much I liked the E3 yesterday. Uh, a lot of new games coming. Not just from Bethesda. But we also got a new Halo game. A new Tomb Raider game. A new uh, Just Cause 4. And we got a lot of new games coming out. So it'll be interesting to see what all... Uh, the future of gaming has stored for this year and next year. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical uh, this whole early part of the year because there was no new games uh, really coming out. Same with last year. Uh, E3 was a little bit lacking, so it was really uh, good to see that this year's E3 uh, really blew last year's out of the water. Very hyped to see the future, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.